In this activity, we will demonstrate solubility of different substances in water. For this activity, we need test tube with test tube stand, beaker filled with water, spatula, dropper, sugar, salt, sawdust, sand, chalk powder. Take a test tube, add one spatula of sugar. Shake the test tube and keep it back in the test tube stand. Take the second test tube, add one spatula of salt. Shake the test tube and keep it back in the test tube stand. To the third test tube, add one spatula of sawdust. Shake the test tube and keep it back in the test tube stand. To the fourth test tube, add one spatula of sand. Shake the test tube, keep it back in the test tube stand. Take another test tube, in this test tube, add one spatula of chalk powder. Shake the test tube. Keep it back in the test tube stand. Observe the test tubes one by one. The first test tube, which contained sugar, shows clear solution. Sugar has dissolved in water. In the second test tube, where salt was added, it also shows clear solution. Salt is also soluble in water. In the third test tube, which contained sawdust, you can see sawdust particles settling down at the bottom. Sawdust is insoluble in water. In the fourth test tube, which contained sand, you can see particles of sand settle down at the bottom. Sand also does not dissolve in water. In the fifth test tube, which contained chalk powder, chalk powder particles are also seen at the bottom. Chalk powder is also insoluble in water. On the basis of this, we can group substances as soluble and insoluble. Sugar and salt, which completely dissolve in water, are called soluble. Sawdust, sand, and chalk powder which settle down at the bottom and are not soluble in water are called insoluble substances. On the basis of solubility, objects can be divided into two groups, the ones which are soluble in water and the ones which are insoluble in water. 